Don't turn the AC on. The AC is on. What is your hair doing? Will you? Is yeah, but it's not recording? gonna. Yes, but it's just because I didn't want to reach it. Oh, whatever. Why are you mad, Dad? Hey, well, don't purse your lips like that. That is when you look mad. That's not why you. <laughs> you three, two, one. Hey, hey guys! That peace sign. <laughs> What's up? Welcome back to my channel. So, for today's video, the long awaited return of my parents is back. You guys want to introduce yourselves? The neighbors are watching. Yeah, they actually come out. <laughs> I'm Denise, Cora's mom. And I'm Cora, as you guys all know. If you guys have been watching my channel for a long time, <laughs> what? You're loud. If you guys have been watching, stop. If you guys have been watching my channel for a long time, then you guys would know that one of my most popular videos on my channel is me quizzing my parents on teen slang. Because they like you guys, my videos. Apparently, they think you're funny. I don't know why. Since that video, that was probably like what two years ago that we filmed that. So the slang has changed a lot in the past couple of years. It has. Yeah, it has. Especially with TikTok, I feel like there's a lot of new slang that everyone's been using. So I'm here today to quiz my parents on the new teen slang. It's not really teen slang, just like popular slang. Obviously, you guys won't recognize it. They probably will not. The goal is to embarrass us. Right. Can we just get started? Mm -hmm. You guys ready? Dad, yeah, stop being silento. That's boring. What is that creepy mute? Stop. Why are you mine? What is that? Why are you acting like that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> slang term number one. Eight and left no crumbs. True. What? <laughs> I'm asking you, what does it mean? What it's does it mean? mom's. It's mom's what? She's the crumb master. I don't know. <laughs> it's a crumb master. Literally, <laughs> what does that mean? I don't she know, cleans but it up the crumbs. Oh, because mom's just a cleaning. Yeah, because you have like Sexual. OCD. Sexual. Wait, can you repeat the question? <laughs> I'm cleaning the floors at three in the morning. <laughs> My mom likes to have at three in the morning. No, and cleans the floors. Eight and left your crumbs. <laughs> What does ate and left no crumbs mean? Just what it says. You ate dinner, cleanly <laughs> and left. <laughs> it doesn't mean that. That's that no, obviously, not... that's so dumb, Tom. That's stupid. Okay, so I'm not gonna delve into that. What do you mean? <laughs> it's not sexual. Why do you guys think everything's sexual? Because you're onto Urban Dictionary. <laughs> it I, it no, means you. Um. No, I have no idea. It means that someone like popped off in a good way. Okay. <laughs> I still don't know what it means. Popped <laughs> off? You mean yelled at someone? <laughs> no. Almost as if they took all the talent and skills and did not leave enough in the world for everyone else. So you did something really well. Say that me and dad got in an argument and like I won the argument and he looked like an idiot. It'd be like, wow, she ate and left oh, no that crumbs. That wouldn't happen. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Next term, slay. Slay. Santa. <laughs> what? You did something really well. Like, yeah. Wait, no, no, how do you spell it? S-L-E-I-G-H? No, S-L-A-E. Oh, slay. Santa. You, you'd be like slay mama. He would never say that. I think it means the same as I ate no crumb. You, no, di you didn't eat the crumb. <laughs> Basically it means that you succeeded in something. Slayed it. Feral. Like a cat. Yeah. Wild yeah. and untamed. Yes, but also yeah. like we wouldn't use it in the same context as that. If you got really intoxicated. It'd be like let's go get feral tonight. Like a crazy cat. Yeah. This crazy cat. Hey all you cool cats and kittens. Yeah, it's like let's be animals tonight. Let's be crazy. Got it. Let's get feral. <laughs> All right. Who makes these up? Ratio. Ratio. <laughs> you are illiterate. Two over four. One half. <laughs> that is a fraction. Oh, is it sexual? It's not sexual. <laughs> like you have a ratio instead of an orgy? <laughs> that is heinous. So like freaks. one on two. Oh, no! Oh, that's rancid. I don't know, that's what your gig is. An example would be when a reply on Twitter gets more likes than the original tweet. Basically, oh. but it, it doesn't have to, it doesn't. Oh. Yeah. Well, I get it now, don't you get it? But it, but it doesn't just have to be on like Twitter or social media. Be Instagram, like, TikTok, all of them. Kindle. Kindle? <laughs> <laughs> so it's where you get more hits on your reply than the, Yeah, yeah. It? It's like embarrassing. Oh, it's <laughs> embarrassing to the person who made the original. Yes. Next one has a gesture that goes along with it. Ice in my veins. Doing some kind of drugs. Yeah. Heroin. It doesn't have to do with drugs. Uh, I don't know what that means. Me either. <laughs> you don't know either. It's like when you're falling out. Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I don't understand the definition. <laughs> It's up not sexual. Shit, you bought all these new clothes and you wear them and you look great. Like, wow, you're balling out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know. I I do video. Okay, next. Drippy. Oh, I'm just dripping, sweating. No, that's <laughs> so not what it means. I can't it's believe sexual. you guys don't. It's not 
not sexy. <laughs> I can't, believe, says I can't everything. believe you got Dopey. dumb. No. Pertaining to something cool, like having a lot of swag. You can't use like slang while you're explaining slang. Well, you know what swag means. <laughs> like jewelry? Could be that. Like the I guy had... with the big clock? <laughs> <laughs> right? You know that guy? The grandmaster? Right? Where's that? You know that? That guy? That is proxy. It's a rap guy. Tupac. I don't know. <laughs> no. Do something. <laughs> Sorry to all the rappers out there. Okay, and it's anyway, an example would be your outfit is so drippy, where'd you get it? That means good. Yeah, but your outfit's not drippy, so no one would say that to you. <laughs> when it's bussin'. What? Well, Uber. <laughs> well, I don't know, I'm guessing. It's not a bus. <laughs> Laughing. You're bussin' a gut. Bussin' a gut? What even? <laughs> All these basically mean the same thing, it's just something was really good. It specifically would be like if you made really good dinner, a lot of people would be like, that food is bussin'. See, I was gonna say bussin'. Bussin'. Not bussin'. Bussin'. There's no G, it's bussin'. <laughs> well, I was gonna say it's related to like bussing a table. No. no. <laughs> but it would have been close. No. no. It just means like that food was really good. Yeah, and I'm gonna bust it off your table now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can't use this video. Why? Yeah, I don't. Why? It's a bus. <laughs> that is so stupid. Mom's laughing. <laughs> Keep them coming. Okay. Dead ass. Boring. Boy. No, what? Well, I'm guessing. What do you know? You don't know what that D means. I didn't think it was slang even, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know. It just means being completely serious. That doesn't make any sense. Dead. Boy, if you don't get dead ass serious. But you won't say, I'm dead ass serious. You just say, oh, I'm dead ass. Maybe that's why your legs been hurt because your ass is ass. dead. <laughs> but why would you just say seriously? I always say dead ass. I've like, never heard you say that. Why would I say that to you, dad? That makes no sense. You think like your butt fell asleep when I say that. <laughs> Spam. Mm. That's I just saw a commercial for that. Are you talking about spam in a can? Yes. Well, it's not that, so guess again. Fried out, man. Like I'm drugs, You're fried just out. so You're far spam. off. spam. If I had an Instagram or like a TikTok account and I just posted all of my personal information, it'd be like on my spam account. Junk mail. Yeah, it's kind of like that as in like junk content. Like if I was spamming my TikTok, it's basically like posting a lot. Things that aren't as serious as something you post on your main account. Sort of like spam because hundreds and hundreds of junk emails. Bombarding someone. Mom Junk. loves email. Mom got it right. You actually have gotten none of these right in my I have really too. Okay, I'll get right. the next one right. Goated. He tricked somebody. Like, no. Went somewhere. Instead of saying went, he goaded there. Why are you riding a goat somewhere? He no, goated Dad, there. you should know this. I don't One know. time it's all time. Yes. Oh. So being like, it's another way of saying someone's mm. the goat, the greatest of all time. Got it. But be like, that's goaded. Simp. Simple. Not too smart. No. Dumbass. It's like dead ass. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sympathetic. So, it's not sure how, how, how are we supposed to get, know? How can we get? Okay, uh, it means spaghettios. <laughs> I mean, think about it. Why are you being angry? I mean, think about it. Throwing out, a, throwing out a word we have no idea it is. You're saying good answers. That Santa. Means. You're saying you're way off base. You're not. means if you're in a relationship with someone, whether that be like you're actually dating or you're just like hanging out with them, basically you would do anything for that person. You're a simp. Someone who does way too much for another person. Oh, that's me. So, that's me for mom. You're a simp so for mom. Like, right. A lot of guys make fun of their guy friends if they're right. simp. Because it's like your girlfriend asked you to hang out even though you had plans with the guys. Like, He's going to yeah. go hang out with the girls. Yeah, it's like whip. Yeah. Oh, you know what that means? It's like a slang Whoa. term. <laughs> He's whipped. Mid. All your tops. Oh my That's God. show your That's mid -riff. Halfway. That's to show your mid riff. <laughs> yeah. No. He's mid. Yeah, you could say that. Yeah. But Next. you don't know what it means. <laughs> <laughs> it's used as an insult, basically labeling someone as like below average. So say you're really into a guy and you show your friends a picture they've never seen him before, they'd be like, he's mid. Like he's not that hot. I mean, I it kind of makes sense, I guess. I guess, I guess it's average. average. Push and pee. It's not that. It doesn't mean penis. I didn't say it then. No. Dad, the way you looked at the camera. It's not, not what you thought. People are <laughs> the neighbor's like confused. Push and pee. I have no idea. I have no idea. To poop and pee simultaneously. That is rancid. <laughs> well, I don't know. It's a lifestyle of like a player or someone's like a real one. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's a lifestyle of a player or someone who's like a real one. Like what you're a real. What do you mean you don't know what a real one is? Like you're a real one. Like you're loyal. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, I everyone Zaddy. <laughs> Get off your phone! What is it? You can't cheat. Stop, you're cheating! Tom. No! Alright, go. You looked up Zappos on your phone. Like, that is illiterate. <laughs> Type in Zabby. Zaddy. Like, daddy with a Z. Zaddy? A sugar mama. <laughs> no. Baby mama. <laughs> I don't know. That's really Zaddy. 
<laughs> it just means like a guy who's older than you, but you think he's really hot. Like an older guy who's like sexy, kind of like a dill. No. Kind of what? <laughs> like a cougar? No. Mom's a cougar. Ew. I'm literally younger than you. Mom goes for younger guys. Like who? I'm not gonna say. Like my ex boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs> now you guys are just spamming me. <laughs> that is not used correctly. Moms are going. Slaps. Funny. I mean, it could mean that. It's a real leg slapper. You mean knee Funny. slapper? <laughs> um, yeah. No, that's no, that's literally not what it means. Okay. Uh, sexual. <laughs> what is a sexual obsession? Is it a, wait, is it an acronym? Sexy lady and. <laughs> No, it means like something was good, basically. That food slapped. Oh, like it slayed. <laughs> like it slays. Like, it's all mean the slaps. same thing. Yeah, pretty Your much. Your dinner yeah. slaps and slays. Yeah, but you wouldn't say a sentence like that because it sounds stupid. <laughs> you just got Chris. Gitchy, gitchy. <laughs> you know that song? <laughs> what? <laughs> I have no idea what you guys are talking about. <laughs> gitchy, yeah, 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 yeah. What's that song? Gitchy, gitchy, yeah, yeah, uh, uh. Yeah, what is that song from the 70s? Know. Was that like with Elton John and Kiki D? Oh, no. Gitchy, know. gitchy, yeah, yeah. What was that? Chris. Gitchy, gitchy, gooey? Oh, it's You Just Got Chris. Usually it goes along with that got, music. Like, it's like a TikTok uh, thing. You got fooled. Yeah. Ah, uh, I nailed you it. You got one right. Nailed it. It's like a prank. Yeah, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm going on a high note. <laughs> no, you can't leave. <laughs> gitchy, gitchy, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I then can't it, like, get the song out of my head now. You just look up Gitchy Gitchy Goo Goo by Phineas and Ferb. Gitchy Gitchy Goo means that I love you. We're not quitting this video until we get that song right. Oh gitchy Gitchy Giving. Using that, it in a sentence to be like, that outfit is giving. It's good. And Two in a row. Yeah. Little slutty. Oh! Why do you think that literally? It does not mean slutty whatsoever. Based off dad's outfit, you could be like, it's giving Adam Sandler. What does that mean then? It looks like something Adam Sandler would wear. Thank you. <laughs> Pump cover. I just spit in your ear when I said that. It's giving monkey pox. Ew. Pump cover is giving monkey no, pox. No. That's what it sounds like. No! The word now is pump cover. Condom. That's what I thought of right away. <laughs> of course yeah. you did. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. No. Is it close? No, it's not sexual. Ooh. What else uh, do you pump? The bicycle tire. Like when you're in the gym. Then iron. I'm pumping iron. iron. But like if I was wearing a t-shirt and I took it off while I was at the gym, that was like my pump cover and I'm taking it off now because I'm like going to lift weights. <laughs> to show off your muscles. Yeah. I bet you I never hear these words ever again in my life. <laughs> Lay the house down boots, Houston, I'm deceased. Huh? <laughs> Say that again. Slay the house down boots. Houston, Houston we have I'm... a problem. No! I have no idea. Slay the house down. <laughs> a house party. No! And that was so good that people died. <laughs> okay, this is one that no one ever Someone's uses. Just... Look at these fruity pebble macaroons. I've never seen this before. I am shook the house. Houston, I'm deceased. You get dressed up for an event and you're wearing like this pretty dress and your friend could be like, I'm deceased. Like you look so good, I'm deceased. Yeah. And you've used this phrase in your life. Yeah. Can you I'm say deceased. Milwaukee? No. Chicago? It's just Los Angeles? It's just Houston. I don't get it. Oulez-vous coucher avec moi ce soir? What's about Vecna? You had nailed that song. Basically, slay the house down Houston, boots down deceased. It's a more intense version of being like that slays. What's the boots? <laughs> Soft. 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 Soft.